We got blown to bits last night. Blown to bits. So that's my Lanshan 2 Pro on the right. And this mystery YouTuber that I've met up with <laughs> has got a Z-Pax duplex on the left. And as you can see, they are pretty similar. We got blown to bits last night. Blown to bits, high wind. You can see it's straining now. It was much worse than this. I even put rocks everywhere, two tent pegs pulled out, and I've got my own dry stone wall built. Everything performed okay on the Lanshan 2 Pro. Um, obviously a bit flappy, quite noisy, but you know nothing leaked in and there was no condensation of course because of the wind. But I did have the first breakage and it was, uh, it was one of these tie outs by the doors. This thing here that's got these curly hooks that look like a sheep's horns, you know, like a ram's horns. That completely sheared off on the other side, I'll take you around. This is a picture from a different camp, but it shows exactly how the tent was set up uh, when the door hook broke. So I had the right hand door here rolled up and uh, tied back with the toggle. Uh, and the left hand door was, was open and pitched uh, to the guy line uh, with the hook here. Uh, but unfortunately, while I was doing that, uh, the wind was gusting really strong from the right to the left and all the wind was going into this vestibule area on the left and billowing so hard that actually it was pushing my two walking poles up and down on the springs. I could see them moving, that's how strong the wind was. Um, and there was a lot of billowing and buffeting on that left hand door, uh, which eventually uh, broke the door hook. So on the other side of the tent where both doors were fully closed and zipped down and hooked on. The wind was just being deflected away from the tent. So that's why that side didn't break. But luckily Dan, the mystery YouTuber, I've just given you his name, <laughs> uh, gave me very kindly uh, a replacement part. And this part is metal, different shape, simpler design and stronger. And um, he's got some spares on his Z packs so it's very kind of him I was very grateful and he's upgraded my tent marvelous This is the lowest that I've ever pitched it. It's about an inch or two inches off the floor, particularly at that back edge, because that's where the wind was coming from. Um, it still buffered it around a lot, but I suppose it could have been like a sail if it took off last night, if it were any higher than that. And it's brightening up a bit. <laughs> 